Hi, I'm Jacinta and today I'm here with Ava and we're going to be decorating around the resident services building on my spring farm core island cornucopia. I don't even have the yoga reaction yet so I can't join in with Ava unfortunately, which is annoying. <laughs> Sorry Ava, back to yoga. But today we're decorating resident services. It's quite a large area obviously so I might do this in like a two part video series. But what we're doing is leading on from the entrance here, leading down to resident services. And I think I'm going to start with decorating down the side and around the back. Because this is such a big area to decorate and it's going to be quite a detailed build. I'm going to do it in a speed world style so keep watching and I hope you enjoy. So I started with terraforming and there is a lot of terraforming in this build because I knew I wanted quite a large cliff behind resident services. On my last island I also had a cliff behind resident services but I just filled it in with like trees and flowers and stuff and this time around I want there to be enough room up there so I can actually put something up there. I'm not sure what I want yet but I want it to be accessible, I want there to be like an incline and stuff and yeah there'll be something up there rather than just trees and flowers. So yeah it took me quite a while to fill this area in there was a lot of back and forth trying to get the shape right and stuff if you see any jumps in the video it's because I was trying to cut it down when I was editing because it was just so long and there was just bits that didn't need to be there like the waterscaping of the river because I'm probably going to change that again and I mean even in this build I went back and changed it a few times but yeah the river was not really the important part of this build so I thought I would just cut it out. So at this point I didn't know yet what I wanted up on this cliff but I did know that I wanted like some nice waterfalls and a bridge on the top level so I started putting that in and then I realized I didn't have enough room still. I don't know I always find when I terraform like a second level or a third level it looks so huge and then I go to work on it properly and you always need more room. <laughs> always so yeah I climbed back down got rid of some more of the river extended this cliff even more and then eventually I got rid of that third level cliff as well because I thought it'd be easier at first I just focus on getting the little river and the bridge right and then I could move on to doing that upper cliff And as you can see I struggled with the bridge as always. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time with bridges. Maybe I'm just like in a rush and I'm not thinking about it properly but for some reason I always struggle. <laughs> but I eventually got the river to be wide enough and then it was saying it was too close to the edge of the cliff so I moved the river back a space but then I decided I wanted it where it was earlier and I could just extend the cliff again out from the left so this is why you see me going back and forth and pretty much repeating what I just did. <laughs> But yeah, eventually I got the bridge in and I thought it looked cute. And then moving on to this cliff on the third level which is the top of the waterfall I kept trying to make it bigger because I wanted to fit a pond on top because I like my waterfalls to look a bit more natural so rather than having like just the cut out of the cliff with the water running out I like to have like a pond or for it to be continually running off both sides so you know it makes a bit more sense I don't know I just that's how I like it um either way is pretty but I like it to yeah make more sense to me so I just kept extending the cliff trying 
trying to get this pond the right size but I gave up and just did the river running off both sides which I thought looked really pretty anyway. Okay, so now that a lot of the terraforming is out of the way, and yeah, that was a lot, that took a long time, um, I'm going to decorate this little spot here, and I'm picturing this sort of like beautiful little meadow, I've got some of the items here, I'm going to use some purple hyacinths to add like a pop of colour and make the area look a bit different to the rest of my island, because at the moment it's very white and yellow, but I'm still going to use white and yellow in this area too. I made these little grass standees, I thought would be cute, and we've got some bee and butterfly models, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little meadow off to the side of resident services. So I cleared most of the flowers and the items out. Does anyone else do this for their builds? To try help with like my idea for a build, I get the items I want out and I put them in the area but then I just end up having to move them again which is really just a kind of a hassle and a bit of a time waster but it still helps me to get like an idea or a picture of how the area is going to look so I guess it is still helpful. So my vision for this meadow was very spring core, you know very bright, pretty and overgrown so yeah I chose the yellow and white cosmos the purple hyacinths and the green mums and I just walked around planting them in this area trying to not put any like right next to each other and trying not to put too many of the same color in the area so yeah we want it to look like natural and overgrown like there was no thought behind it and they just grew here but really there was a lot of thought and it took me a long time Also, of course, Al just has to be hanging out in this area like the whole time I'm working on it. Like, it could have been anyone else. Anyone else who's cute and I actually like on my island. But no, it's just Al the whole time. Well, like, the others join as well, obviously. his Pico wandering through. But Al literally just chills here the whole time. I feel like he's doing it just to annoy me. After I had most of the flowers down, I moved on to the pathing because I knew I wanted this like winding through the middle. So I wanted to do that so I could visualize the shape of the area more. And so I didn't just take over the whole area with the flowers and have to like remove some of them for the path. So yeah, once the path was down, I went back to planting more flowers, filling in all the gaps. And I also used some weeds as well and custom designs. And then I added a few items, but I wanted it to be very natural. So not too many. There's a butterfly and B models and the grass standees. I really do love the grass standee item. I don't know why I didn't use it more on my last island but I don't know I just quite like it. It adds like a little bit of height and it just adds some more variety rather than just always using weeds and flowers. So yeah if you're not someone who uses the grass standee item I really recommend giving it a go. You might like it and you can also customize it to suit all the different seasons as well which is really cool. Okay at this point I don't have anything else left to say and I'm just filling in gaps so please keep watching i hope you enjoy the rest of the speed build and please hang around to see the finished area
Okay, so I said at the start that if this takes too long, I might have to do it in two parts. And I just worked on this for about two and a half hours. And I really didn't get as far as I thought I was going to. But I've done the little meadow, done the terraforming for behind residence services. So I'm going to end part one here. I think this turned out so pretty. Oh my gosh, Al, can you not? Oh my gosh, can you please not ruin my beautiful meadow? I really need to get rid of him. Yes, walk away. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you, this is the entrance right here if you haven't seen my previous videos. So you enter the island and you can go this way and we're greeted with a beautiful sunny meadow of all these different flowers. We've got bees and butterflies and down the end here we've got the waterscaping and the nice waterfalls. And I put these like potted plants, purple ones here and yellow ones. So it looks like someone has been, you know, planting all these plants here. I think this turned out really pretty, but yeah, I did think I was going to get further. I thought I would be able Able to decorate those cliffs as well but my video would just be so long so we're gonna cut part one here and there'll be more parts probably two or three or four because there's a lot of room around resident services i really love the layering of all these colors we've got the green yellow purple and white flowers we've got different models of butterflies and bees in here and i like the grass standees to add a little bit of something different and then the weeds as well i just think this is so pretty and i think it's perfect being near the entrance because what a beautiful Beautiful sight to greet you when you first enter Cornucopia. So for the next episode of the decorating residence services video, I don't know if I'm going to decorate in front of it here or up on this cliff. I don't know, maybe I'll work on the front of residence services next. So if you're interested in seeing that video, please subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss it. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this little meadow and I also hope all the terraforming wasn't too boring. And thanks for watching. Bye!